look so beautiful and i'm so lucky to be yours hello little baby yodas welcome back to classy sassy stitcher yes i'm now going to call you all baby yodas don't ask me why i have an obsession with baby yoda and alice in wonderland we ain't gonna call you the Mad Hatters. Well, maybe you guys are the Mad Hatters. Maybe I'll use that from now on. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, my name is Crystal. Welcome back to the Classy Sassy Stitcher. This is my channel, obviously, since we're here. Um, I want to preempt this by saying, if you hear the fan to the left, that's because there is a fan on in this room. It gets very hot in here sometimes, so we like to keep a fan running. If you hear tiny human noises, that is because my son is at home. We are filming this on a Sunday, but this isn't the day that it, this uh, unboxing is gonna go up. Um, no, I have it scheduled for an, uh, Wednesdays. Wednesdays are my unboxing days, so that's the day this will go up in some day in February. Um, if you hear my little doggy, she is here. I think she's sleeping, so we might be safe, but you may you may hear doggy noises. Also, I live on a major thoroughfare in between two suburbs of the city that I live, so that means that you may hear any variation of fire, ambulance, or police sirens. Ambulance is most frequent because I live between not one, but two major hospitals in the city that I live because of my location where I'm at. Um, so today we are going to be unboxing a mountain scenery uh, painting from Amazon. I did check to see if these uh, paintings were free for use from Tinai. They are. I am very uh, adamant about checking to make sure I'm not stealing anybody's art. Um, these were taken from photographs and rendered, so they're not anybody's actual painting. They are still sold on Adobe stock. Um, with that being said, I have four of these. They will be alternated between my DAC unboxings and these unboxings, so you will not see them all on the same day uh, or the same week or the next week for that matter. I don't know why I'm rambling. Let's just get to this. Um, so, I'm going to put my uh, boat and stuff away in my trusty, I'm going to move everything off of it, uh, storage container right here. This little bad boy as soon as I give you what's in here. So, um, because it makes it easier for me to put the painting back in its film. So I saw these on Instagram and I really, really like them. And I really, really wanted them. So let's move you a little closer. Ah, not on me. Um, okay, that's probably good. I can never tell if this is blurry or if it's just my eyes, so I am sorry because I'm not wearing my glasses even though I should be. Okay, there we go. There we go. So I did see this on Instagram, or Instagram, Amazon, and I thought, hey, those are really nice. Let's first get into the, um, basic bitch kits as Ruby Q would call them. I call them that too because I think that is a good descriptor of them. Um, so in this kit we have, and it is really basic bitch, there's not even any tweezers in these. We have the boat. We have extra, uh, not very good baggies, and there's only four of them, so 
there's more than four things of extra beads, we're kind of screwed if I didn't have any extra of these, which I have tons, so no worries. A pink pen, which I don't use, and it doesn't even have a multi-placer with it. What? A pat of wax and the green bow. So that's our basic bitch kit. Let's put it away while we still have okay um yeah okay it's getting a little um excessive in here so i'm not going to put the boat in there anymore i'm going to put it in this one because there's room in this one for the boats and stuff i need to now invest in a new one of these things um, the pen, which also we're getting a lot of less space for, um, the baggies, we'll put in here. It didn't even come with one of How rude. My nail just fell off. Rude. It didn't even come with one of these smushies. Like, real smooth Amazon. Thank you. No, I'm just kidding. I don't even know what store I got these from, so I, if I find it, I will link it. Um, if I remember to link it. I probably won't even remember to link it. I'm going to pull these back because you know you have a problem with space when you're running out of space. Now that all the tools are put in their respective spaces, let's look at this little canvas. So this one is a water wheel seam. Can you see that? Yeah, you can see that. So it's a water wheel scene. As you can see, if I can get this less blurry, the symbols are very, very nice. Look at that. You can actually tell even close up what everything is, which is nice for me. Um, I really like the colors in here. It, does have the DMC numbers, which will be helpful. Um, is it sticky? It is sticky. It says it's a 40 by 30. Let's see if it is a 40 by 30. Why is this so... Okay, there we go. I feel like I'm all over the place by this. So is it true to size? Let's see. Uh, so the canvas size is uh, like the whole, um, framing size is 40 to by 30. The drill size is actually 25 by 35. So it is not true to size in drilling. It is, when they say 40 by 30, it is the actual like whole framing size not the drilling portion but still for it being that much uh stuff in a port in a 40 by 30 image and you can still pretty much tell what it is um through the drilling field that gives me a little bit of hope that uh you will be able to tell what it is when you place the drills down so did i say if it was sticky or not yeah, it's very sticky. So that is also a good thing that it's very, very sticky. Uh, let's get into these drills here. It does have 30 colors. I can't figure out where to open this. I have to be very careful because I am allergic to adhesive, so opening these is sometimes a struggle. But as you can tell, I'm being very careful.
Okay, they have it in two different brands. That's fine. So, let's, we'll start with this one and go to the next one. Okay. So we have number one, which is I'm not even going to tell you what colors these are because it doesn't say on the package. It just gives you a lot die number. So it's a green. Number two is a yellow. Uh, number three is, I'm guessing, 310. Yep, 310. <laughs> you can tell I know my black. Number four is 318, which is a gray. Number five color is like a blue. Number six is an orange, or a peachy orange. I'm guessing it's gonna go around here somewhere in the, in here. You can't really see that because it's blurry on your end. Um, number seven is a gray color. Number eight is brown. Number nine is another like tawny brown color. Number ten is that um, terracotta red color. Terracotta red? Is that a color? Terracotta red? Yeah. Um, number eleven is that like army green color. Number. 12, I'm not even going to tell you what I think that looks like. Number 13 is like a gray brown beige color. Number 14 is a lighter terracotta red color. Number 16 is like, an, or 15 is an army green color. Number 16 is a gray beige. Number 17 is blue. Number 18 is a lighter blue color. Number 19, can you all see? Number 19 is like a gray color. Number 20 is this brown color here. And from what I'm seeing so far, I don't see many like janky drills, which is nice. I've been really lucky with Amazon drills that their drill quality on most of the ones that I get are pretty decent. Yeah, those are all nice colors and nice drills. So, moving on to what number did we stop at? Twenty. Moving on to twenty-one. I'm just trying to hit the sweet spot here. 21. 22 is a darker blue. There we go. 23 is like a brown barf color. <laughs> I don't even know what you would call that. 24. Uh, 25. 26, 27, 28 is like a dark browny black color, 29, which is a minty gray green color, and 30. So, all in all, my first impressions of this uh, canvas are that it is very nice quality, uh, nice scenery, looks like some nice earth tone colors, um, so that's fantastic, I am liking that, the simplicity of these colors, oh, come on, okay, who asked you anyway? Oh 
Come on. There we go. We'll ask you anyway. Literally, you know. So I put it in perfectly and it doesn't even really want to fit perfect. Stupid. <laughs> this thing is stupid. Stupid, I tell you. See how much thinner it is when you have no tools to put in there. It also helps me put it in this bag a lot easier. Except apparently not. I'm not going to fight with it while I'm on camera. So with that, thank you for joining me in this uh, unboxing of the first of the scenery. I have four different ones of these um, Amazon buys. Uh, if you like this video, please do like and subscribe. Hit the like and subscribe button down below and hit the notifier bell if you want to see more of these wonderful and wacky videos. Um, and with that, I want to say I hope you guys are having a wonderful week and to stay happy, healthy, and kind. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.